and I bought new gears because there was, these ones are pretty pitted and they probably would have worked fine but I don't know I just for some reason I decided to buy new ones pretty good gash right there anyway this has got a uh, there's a bronze bushing inside and the new one doesn't have it so we gotta take it out of this one and move it over to that one yeah gotta get this stuff nice and clean so that all the dirt's out of it and then we're gonna put it together yeah what's the, what's the uh, temperature today today it's nice it's about 80 a little different than the last time I was out here cleaning pots but we're gonna try to get this motor going so it's about time we get things together okay first off here's the uh, housing we put in uh, this this thing right here the stud just to stick up like that one it's not really sticking up enough so I gotta just make a mark so I know where that thing is where it's in there's a new seal we put in and in here can you see in there and there is a uh, there's an o-ring in there that's the only part I had to have a professional do for me I had him uh, use a special tool to pop out this brass plug put in the o-ring and then put the plug back in so I brought that down and had that done 20 bucks or something okay so now um, what I want to do here is first thing we got to put this shaft in so I'm gonna take some grease put some grease on the shaft okay the uh, this end here has was kind of sharp it had burrs on it from where the clamp was on there and that can chew up the seal so what I did is I just sanded it down and filed it down a little bit to smooth it out so and we're going to drop this right down in there so now as the shaft goes up and down this has got a pivot here so it will pivot when I move the shaft see how it pivots and what that does is it's going to move the clutch dog into reverse or forward gear and that's how that works all right this needs to be like right about there so we could fit on that post I'll put it like that. I'll put a mark. So I know. Okay. Now. Oil. Alright, so now we're gonna do before I put this on. I take my shaft. Now the clutch dog has got these dogs. Oops, that's this tooth here, that tooth, and they engage the gear. Now, if you look at this side, it's all chewed up. This side's not so chewed up. So I'm gonna put the not so chewed up on the drive gear side and the chewed up side, which isn't that bad, but if just in case it you know it's a little worn. This is like a hundred dollar piece. So I'm gonna make it so the good part engages the drive gear. So the drive gear is on the rear of the shaft. So that's what I'm going to do there. The good part facing the rear. So it's just flipping it over. Now we're going to take the rear gear, which is this one, which is a new gear, and it has a thrust washer. put the thrust washer in here with the finished side towards the gear like that and we're gonna put the gear right on here okay now we're gonna loop up the, the back part of the gear loop up the back part of the gear and that's this part and you get this all lubed up. And this is the uh, the bushing. We're going to get that on there. 
Okay. So that's the rear drive gear. The clutch dog. When the clutch dog's not engaged, it's in the middle. That's neutral. See how the shaft turns and the gear doesn't? When the clutch dog drops in, now it engages the gear. Well, that's how the dog works. Okay, so now, we do the front gear. These are new gears. We bought new gears. We kept the same old pinion because the pinion wasn't that bad. Oil on the thrust washer. Oil down here where the thrust washer joins. Again, there's a finish side of the thrust washer. You can tell it has some cross hatching on it. That goes towards the gear, like that. Now we're going to take the bushing. Let's soak the bushing in oil. Okay. This is not the right oil for this. This is just 30 weight, but it's okay. Um, 90 weight will replace it, no problem. I guess there's no, it doesn't matter how that goes on. Okay. Now the reverse gear goes on with the thrust washer, just like that. Okay. Next thing that goes on is going to be this end piece. And the end piece is supposed to have an O-ring. There's a new O-ring here for it. This must be it. That looks like it. So we're going to take the new O-ring, slit the bag, there we go. take the O-ring, put the O-ring right around on here. There we go. O-ring's on. Alright, I'm just going to, I got enough oil on my fingers, I can just kind of put a little oil on there. So. And you gotta make sure, which I didn't really do, oh, I guess I did. You gotta make sure that where the pin is, there's no burr. There actually is a little, I, I did sand it down, I think. But there actually is a little bit of a burr there. Hopefully it didn't cut it. Okay, so now this thing is, this, every rules are real easy. This, this thing's all pretty much assembled now. So, now, the pinion gear has to go in. We take the pinion, we'll put that in the oil. Some pinion gears have a thrust washer, but this one doesn't. Okay, and the pinion gear is just going to drop right down in here. It's going to drop right down in the hole. Then this whole assembly is going to go in like this. It drops right in. And then we got to line up this back piece like I had done. It's not lining up. Why is that not lining up? Okay, then the front piece is, has to sit on the pin. So this goes on here, and this goes like that. That goes down. Okay, this drives the clutch dog. So she puts the oil on this. This goes right over the clutch dog. And then this pivot point fits right inside it like this so that it can work. Now see how that works? If I hold the pivot, see how the clutch dog moves in and out? And that's how it shifts. That's neutral right there. And that's pretty much the whole gear case. Now we've got to reseal it and put it together. So that's the next step. So we got to clean this up and get it ready for sealing. Thank <laughs> you.